Welcome to Integrated Math 3. On this episode, Stevenson will demonstrate Let's go ahead now and find the sum of these two rational functions. The first thing we want to do is know what the denominators are in simplest form. So my first denominator is already a linear binomial, but my second one's a quadratic. So I'm going to factor this because that will help me determine my LCD as well as my restrictions. Now that this is factored, I'm going to rewrite my problem with my factored denominator. Let's talk restrictions. When you want to find the restrictions of your rational expression, you look at the denominators and you set them individually equal to zero. In other words, use the zero product property. These are the two numbers in my restrictions, or the two numbers I cannot let x equal or else I will get zero in the denominator, which is undefined. Now let's look at the common denominator. This fraction has both, has two, two expressions, a three x minus two and an x plus three. This fraction shares something in common. That's super helpful. So what we can do is make the second denominator the LCD because then all I have to do is modify my first fraction to line up with the second fraction. So all I have to do is change the first fraction. It already has a three X minus two. So all I have to do is multiply by an X plus three here to make it match with the common denominator. Next, I'm gonna do distributive property and combine like terms. Now that's simplified down, I can't really do much with it at this point. So my denominator is the LCD from up here and these restrictions still hold. So I list them to the side. 